What is going on guys? Welcome to the vlog. Last night I accidentally slept with the uh, the windows open, so now I'm twice as sick as I was before. So that's awesome. I'm heading to work right now. I'm actually gonna be filming at work today, which is cool. Normally I just edit. I'm bringing all my stuff with me, and I'm gonna be filming there. And then after that, the grind continues on this interior. So, uh, it should be pretty fun today. So, I'm going to work, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit when we can continue grinding on this gross tan interior. All right, so we're out someplace in Acton right now, and uh, just finishing up a quick shoot on a new Ford Expedition. We had to pick like a nice area to uh, start off with, do all that cool stuff and uh, get like detail shots of the car inside, outside, driving back and forth. It's kind of, this is just kind of like a little inside view of uh, the little freelance part-time job that I do. It's easy, it's fun, it's cool. I get to film cars and then I go home and film cars again. But uh, we're just about finished up here, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so just pulled up to the shop. Look at how awesome this shirt is. Shout out to Drew for giving me this when I went down to see Jimmy. If you want to follow Young Tuck or Drew on Instagram, I'll leave both of them right here if you're not already, that is. Speaking of shirts, I say something a lot and it's been catching on to me and like to all of my friends a lot and that is um, the more you rub, the less you rub. And it's like, it's weird, but it's funny and it makes sense. And whenever I say it in front of anyone, they're always like, wow. That's really funny. That's clever. That that's that's really true. Um, so, just out of nowhere, I decided to make a, another shirt with the Ruin Soul. Actually, the first merch piece of that car in a long time. But um, I made a shirt. I'll put it here. If you guys want to check it out, the link is in the description. You don't have to buy it. I just wanted to get a little creative and throw something else out there while I wait for these stickers to be made and shipped here. So. Like I said, if you like it, if you think it's cool, feel free to support. Link is in the description. New shirts are always fun. But today, I want to get this going some more. Like I said, I've done the doors, the A pillars inside here. I want to get the center console done tonight. And if I have time, I want to get the dash done. The dash is a really big project and I need a lot of time and I need some light for it. So if I decide to do the dash, I would need the car to be inside. So we'll see how far we get. It's already like six o'clock, so we only have another 45 minutes to an hour until it's fully dark out, which kind of sucks, but I'm gonna get as much done as I physically can. If we can't get to the dash today, that'll be in a later video and I'll just try and pull the rear panels off of the car and we can do those instead. Either way, it's gonna be a lot of stuff to turn black today, so we'll get a lot of progress done and I'm really stoked on that. So, let's start with the center console. I I checked out, with a, I checked out a couple forums and uh, uh, a few people had step by steps on how to take them out, so I'm pretty sure it's not too hard. Um, I'm just gonna run through it step by step, have like the forum on my phone or something, and just go through it, make sure that uh, everything comes out as it should, and not break anything, because everything in this car is 27 years old and it could break pretty easily, so I'd rather that not happen. But we're gonna get it out, and it's gonna be black by the end of tonight, so let's do it. So this you put here and pull down like that and that shows I actually figured out what this little red button is I thought that it was like maximum overdrive or something maximum overdrive but uh, it turns out that it's just to move the shifter got to move it into neutral so that we can get all the way to the screws just like that and then those come off and then okay. look at that that's pretty cool normally no surprises when i when i took the del sol shifter off it like shot like 10 springs all over the inside of the car so i'm glad that it didn't do that this time all right so i mean this is going along pretty well look at all the cigarette ash that's in here mr japanese boy like to smoke a lot but we got the shifter bezel thingy whatever you want to call it off and uh, that exposed a bunch of Phillips heads that hold this plastic piece here 
onto the car. And then the rest of it, I think, is clips that go up around here. And uh, then we pop the little knobs and stuff off. And then, I don't know how to take the actual tan piece off, but uh, maybe once we remove this little uh, center surround, it will uh, become a little clearer, so. All right, so we got the entire center console out and there's a lot of wiring in this thing. It's all like just crammed back here from doing the, uh, the radio for whoever did it. I mean, it works and I have no issues with it, so I'm not gonna worry about it, but whew, that was a lot of stuff to take out. But uh, we got it all, it's all out, and it's all gonna be black when it goes back in, which is gonna be awesome. So let me show you how much of a piece this thing is, how like gigantic it is. This thing is huge, and it's all gonna be black, which is awesome. Stoked. What's up, TJ? Boy. So, we just got back from Walmart. I had to grab um, some masking tape and some paper because of what I'm about to tell you. We went to Walmart to get some stuff and John brought up an amazing point. Now that I have the center console out, if I decide to put it back in tonight and then drive this thing home, Further down the line, I'm gonna have to take it out again for a second time, which was already a nightmare to take this thing out um, because of the radio and everything. There's so much stuff in there, it's crazy. <laughs> so he brought up an awesome point. Why don't I just have someone drive me home tonight and then tomorrow, which I have off, I can come back here and grind on the interior and take everything out, the seats, the carpet, everything. Just get it all out, get it all black, put it back in the car, and then everything can go back in at once. and. This is me saying this if it's all going to go 100% perfect, which chances are I'll run into a few things here and there, but we could probably do that, to be honest. I still have the coupe. It runs and drives. I can drive it every day if I wanted to. So I could have this thing here for the rest of the week and just spend all my time just grinding on this and getting it done. So I think that's what we're going to do. So I have the center console out. It is filthy and disgusting. I have this little side piece. This is where the key goes into and my little airlift controller sits above it. I'm going to try and get the piece that sits next to this and the glove box off as well. Get all of this prepped, painted, ready to go. Make sure it looks the best. I'll probably pull the car in here just so I have some extra light, but we'll get to the dash in a little bit. I gotta continue pulling some stuff out of here. I'll see you guys in a little bit when it's all out. We can start painting this and get it looking good because it's gross and disgusting. All right, so literally went in the car for five minutes, took the entire glove box and the bottom tan piece out as one piece, which is awesome. That can all get painted. We got the center piece out as long, along with the side piece that the key goes through, the center console, we got the little bezel here that goes around it. This is all gonna look so good when it's black and back in the car. I'm so excited. First order of business though, clean out all this gross cigarette ash that's in here from the Japanese owner that owned this. Whoever you are, you really like smoking cigarettes. You should try vaping, it's like better. Oh yeah, you know what? I think that is what it is. What they have? In, they come with instructions when they do them. <laughs> I guess so. So. Out you go! Damn, this feels so good. And it's not too bad underneath. Believe it or not. Dang, that's pretty clean. At least it's not covered in uh, cigarette ash. Yeah, that's true. I didn't true. know what we were gonna find. Well, on the other side, it might be a little worse since he's the driver. So maybe he didn't pick up many uh, gals. Yeah, no, he was probably a lonely boy, like me. <laughs> so to be kind and courteous, I moved all the stuff off of our area and put it over here. They just removed, they just took all the trucks out of here, so I got more than enough room to do this little bit of you know painting. And John is over here grinding taking all this stuff out of the car, which is dope. He's just about to get the back seats out. He got the bottom portion out. He's just got to get the back portion out. And uh, 
after that is just the driver's seat and then we can take the whole carpet out, which is dope. I think that I'm gonna leave the back seats out, not because I'm gutting the car or anything like that, but it just makes things easier because I'm gonna have to get them reupholstered. So I'm just gonna leave them out of the car, send them off to get reupholstered, and then uh, can put them back in the car. Yeah? Hell yes. Those are in really good shape. I'm, I'm stoked about it. At least it's all the foam's there and it's nice and molded and not yeah. all destroyed. My driver's seat, the, the foam in it is so sagged out and gross. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. That's why we're getting new seats, new front seats, but. This is coming along good. I'm taking my time with this and want it to be, you know, really nice. So I'm doing just multiple light coats until it's all covered, but. It's gonna look dope. This is such a big center console, it's so huge. All right, so two pieces in, two of the biggest pieces in. Center console and center console holder thing is done. Working on the glove box and the uh, surrounding piece to that right now. John kind of got in his, in his head and was just like, you know, wired and literally took everything out of the car, like not even kidding, the only thing that's left in this car is the driver's seat and the carpet. Literally, this thing is like fully gutted and it's like, it's crazy. Ready for the roll cage. <laughs> ready, for, ready for the roll cage. I have so much stuff that I have to paint. This piece right here, there's like two pieces under that. This piece here, and then over there, there's just this pile of pieces here that I have to paint. So I got a lot of stuff and I need a lot of paint. So I'm just gonna keep hitting this stuff and getting it done. I know it's a boring process, like I had said in the past, but at least with this video, we're getting so much done. And at this point, by the end of this week, this car is gonna be fully black besides the seats. The seats are gonna be like the only thing left, which is gonna be so dope. I'm so excited for that. So I'm gonna keep grinding on this, get this one done, move on to more pieces, and then we'll move the car forward, take the driver's seat out, take the carpet out, and then we'll see from there. Oh, fuck. All right guys, so I got the center console, center console thingamajigger, and the glove box and glove box surround done. Doing the other dash little pieces that go around like the uh, the radio and the key fob thingamajigger thing. And John is over here grinding on this thing. He got the driver's side seat out. We pulled the car up so that we could get in here. And oh my God, dude. <laughs> Carpet is officially coming out. Officially coming out. This is insane. If you guys told me that I was gonna be doing this today, I'd be like, uh, no, because I like this car and I want to drive it every day. But I want to see it black. I want to see everything like not tan anymore. I'm tired of it. I'm so glad that we decided to go this far, and. Uh, yeah, by the end of this week, this thing is gonna be mint and it's gonna be all black besides the seats because I still need to get those reupholstered, but everything's gonna be black and it's gonna look awesome. Still have all of this to go, a bunch of small little pieces and obviously still working on these here. A lot of painting, a lot of work, a lot of waiting for coats to dry, all that stuff, but it'll all look good in the end. This stuff came out phenomenal, so. I'm definitely stoked on this. These pieces are drying and these pieces are done. John just got the carpet out of the car. So now literally the only thing left to paint inside is the dash and this side piece that we couldn't get off because it's stripped. I'm gonna have to buy an extractor set tomorrow, but carpet is out and I'm stoked to see this turn black. Thankfully with carpets and stuff, I don't have to use the exact same paint that I'm using for like the plastics and leather and stuff. Using Duplicolor on the carpet works fine. I used it on the doors and the little carpet sections of the doors and they turned out mint, 
So I am not afraid to use Duplicolor on this, which is nice because it's like $10 cheaper than the Sem paint, which is harder to find. I don't even know if they're gonna have enough paint for me tomorrow when I go get it, but I'm, I'm praying, I'm hoping. So carpet's out. I'm gonna save this for tomorrow as well as the dash. And I'm just gonna continue grinding on the little pieces. I think I have one more can of Sem paint. And once I'm out of that, then I'm gonna call it a night. Tomorrow I'll go get more. I'll get an extractor set, get some dupe color, some carpet cleaner, get this looking dope. And uh, hopefully, maybe, uh, maybe by tomorrow night, we can start putting stuff back into the car and transform it from tan to full black, which I'm so excited for. All right, guys, so it's getting late. I've been grinding, just painting, 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 getting as much done as I possibly can. Like I said before, these pieces came out fire. Totally stoked on them. Hold on, I'm still on manual focus. I got these pieces done. They all look dope. This is the center surround that goes around the uh, center console. That came out mint. That's still drying, so. This piece goes like under the glove box somewhere and this piece goes around the center console and wraps kind of like around this at the top. This goes where my key is. And these are all of the parts from the center. Um, I took these out. These are brown and they, I neglected, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to paint these because obviously I would lose the lettering and I don't want it to look hack. So I decided to not paint them. Once this is dry, I'll put them back in. Sure, they'll be brown, but one day I'll be able to find a set of black ones, buy them, put them in, and that'll look dope. If there was a company that made like aftermarket ones or something, then I would do that, but no company makes that. But this stuff came out so good. It's just like a testament to this product. It dried perfectly. It looks OEM. I'm so stoked on it. Like I said, for tomorrow, I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna have more paint, shampoo the carpet, vacuum the carpet, get that black, get everything else that we took out black. I'm gonna have to buy so much paint, oh my God. And hopefully by tomorrow night, we can get this car looking completely black on the inside, which I'm so excited for. Throw the seats back in, all that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. If you guys are curious about that shirt that I mentioned earlier with the Del Sol fender rubbing through it, it looks really cool. Link is in the description. Go check it out. I'll see you guys in the next one where we make this interior fully black.